Well, you probably can tell. We talk about it every day. The countdown is on. Less than two weeks to go, more than a million people are expected to come to Texas and witness the total solar eclipse, bringing with them more than a billion dollars to our economy. That's a lot of money. CBS News Texas Brooke Rogers is live in Red Oak with how local businesses are bracing for the boom. A very welcome boom, I'm mm. sure, Brooke. Absolutely. The total eclipse should be a total boon to the economy. This restaurant patio expected to be full. This large park across from this pond expected to be full, making it anything but a normal Monday. The solar eclipse will cast darkness over the city of Red Oak for approximately 4 minutes and 13 seconds on April 8th. You got a French toast toss working? Philip Hughes and his sister, Michelle Benzania, are strategizing how to make sure their breakfast and lunch spot, gravy, is ready. We've kind of talked about abbreviating our menu a little bit. I'm bringing in my kids, um, their high school students, and to help us out with the overflow of guests that might be stopping by. The estimated economic impact of the solar eclipse in total expenditures is nearly $1.4 billion in the state of Texas. Nearly 500 million in the Dallas Plano Irving area, and more than 13 million dollars in Ellis County, where Red Oak is located. The Red Oak Area Chamber of Commerce's president and CEO says they're expecting eight to ten times their normal revenue. It's informing our businesses that this is such a huge, huge event for our community because we are in such a such a line of the eclipse. And he says it won't just be a Monday event. This is going to be an event all the way through the weekend, even starting as early as Friday. The key, he says, is preparation. That means bolstering staffing, making additional hires, and ensuring that there's plenty of inventory. He says they're also encouraging residents to get groceries and gas ahead of time. And I'll get you some unsweet tea, okay? At Gravy, the owners say they want the event to be fun, while also giving them an introduction to new and future customers perhaps with a side of an Eclipse sandwich. So everyone's going to stop what they're doing, guests included, and they'll all be outside, and I just want to celebrate it and, and have a good time with it. And the city of Red Oak has a population of approximately 17,500 people. I'm told they could have up to three times that number of people visiting here on Eclipse Day. Live in Red Oak, Brooke Rogers, CBS News, Texas.